Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Rugby Challenge 4 video. And in today's video, we are back with some tips and tricks, this time from the developers themselves. Alright, so there's been a little bit of an update on the Wicked Witch Forums, or the Wicked Sports Forums, and I'll be talking you guys through it. So, hey Rugby Challenge fans, just wanted to say how grateful we are for your support slash feedback, and it is something we obviously anticipated releasing our early access build for you all. We are keeping a close eye on all of your bugs and suggestions and we'll try to respond to those as best we can. Alright, so that's pretty much one of the reasons why I ended up sharing the forum or sharing the websites in a pre-release video because I noticed no one was on there giving suggestions and giving their thoughts on the upcoming game and now that the game is out in early access, I can't stress that enough. I, I was saying in previous pre-release videos that there will be bugs and glitches and now we've got a place to to pretty much report to them and give feedback moving on we are a team that are dedicated to our sports and have been fortunate enough to have had input from coaches official unions international star players fans player analysis teams from around the world all help make this as true to the game of rugby as we can we understand that our job is not done yet and again your feedback helps us and others to make this the best rugby game out there. So as bug ridden as the game is in its current state, I'll agree with them on that, and I, be I do believe they are hard at work trying to deliver a good rugby game. And out of the two games available on the market at the moment, this early access version of Rugby Challenge 4 is, it is the better game in my opinion. I'd also like to clear something else up. I know it's been like three or four years since Rugby Challenge 3, and just because it's been that long, it doesn't mean that they've been working on this game for that amount of time. Also, another thing to note during development, they've only recently acquired the uh, Unreal Engine technology, so I believe that is why the AFL game was delayed a few times. That is why I was predicting last year that the same thing would probably happen to Rugby Challenge. I think if they were to start from scratch, we probably wouldn't see a new rugby game at least for another few years. But yeah, that's just my two cents on it. Uh, there's a lot of things to consider before just blindly calling something trash. Anyway, they go on to say, While we work through your comments and clearing any bugs that arise, keep an eye out for some of these subtle gameplay implementations. And that is followed by these tips. At rucks, Fords have now positioned themselves as pods beside the ruck. Sometimes one-man pods if you've committed too many players. And watch the backs move in behind them. This allows for a forwards crash ball, which now have a higher chance of retention so you can play multiple phases instead of it turning over each time you crash it up. It also allows you to tire the opposition out if you decide to keep crashing it up and sometimes opens up the defending backline drawing the defense into the action. Cross kick time? Question <laughs> mark? Uh, I've started noticing that. See, the problem with me is I'm a notorious button masher. So sometimes I'm over committing in the ruck and I don't really get many forwards. Oh, well, there's always at least one forward, as they just said, ready to run the ball up. I've definitely noticed it though. Like when you start to play the game, how it's intended to play, like actual rugby, you know, you'd notice these subtle changes around the ruck in particular. Next, it says, in saying the above, forwards now have a designated pass button, the D-pad left or right and the backs have the normal pass button assigned. Uh, it's not new, but I guess they're saying that for people uh, for people that are complaining about no forward play. Next, it says at rucks slash moors, the forwards are now the main people joining these when committing players. No longer should you see the whole back line in there with props ready to take the drop kick out the back. That's another one of those subtleties I've noticed. More forwards in the ruck, more forwards in the mall, and not seeing many backs being committed unless it's me over committing, dragging my fly half in or whatever backs are around the ruck. Next tip, each team has been assigned particular playing styles depending on where they are based in the world. Northern Hemisphere should now be using more tactical kicking slash box kicking and structured forward and back play. Southern Hemisphere should now play more expansive, still structured but with flair. Fiji specifically should have a higher risk pass slash offload chance. For those passes, they seem to magically get away with. South Africa should have a balance of Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere styles with their mighty kickers and their Colby flair. All right, all right, not bad, not bad. Uh, I'm pretty sure each team has specific sliders, so 
maybe they've readjusted those sliders. Next, the fullback comes into line every so often automatically, now acting as another man to pass to, which you can still do manually if they're not there when you want. Yeah, we already know about that option as well. Oh, automatically. That explains why my fullback sometimes isn't there when the opposition clears, assuming it's the same for defense. Next, when making a break, support shouldn't be too far away now, generally wrapping around or running beside you as a passing option. I've definitely noticed the support players much better than the last. Uh, next, halfback is the main passer at the rucks now, definitely noticed that. Specifically in sevens, when you have to wait an age for him to get there, uh, unless he's extremely far away or under the ruck himself. Uh, next, a general kicking aiming direction has been sped up. Before, it used to take an age to move the aimer across field. Agree with that and have noticed it. Still, I don't think it's fast enough in my opinion. For the next tip, the grubber and chip kick in behind the defense no longer results in a magnetic automatic catch from the other team and now actually allows you the chance to regather the ball if timed and positioned correctly. I haven't used the chip or grubber that much but I'll definitely give it a shot. Next, the set play crash balls don't require you to fend most times when running straight to your defender. That's interesting. As players should now carry momentum based on their strength and be able to boulder past. For example, try using Nani Laumape on a dummy switch square option on the PS4. I wonder why it was I, I was wondering why it was so easy to break lines. Oh no. It's not always easy, they don't always break the line, but during certain hit-ups or certain crash ball plays, they do. Hmm, that is... I don't know if that's good or not, but I guess it's stat-based, so you gotta have a gun center. Damn, I should've bought semi Radradra. <laughs> if you've been watching the Reds' career, ah, uh, nah, you, you'll know, you'll know. If you know, you know. Uh, finally, passing needs to be more precise now. If the pass is not on, i.e. the player you're about to pass to looks offside, don't pass it you stupid idiot <laughs> or expect to have a few forward passes in game noticed heaps of forward passes so i guess they're trying to cut down on the hot potato cheese which is good if you're playing against other players i guess i'm not much of an online player because online matches just turn into they just typically turn into an exploits fest or cheesy tactics fest and yeah, that's not my cup of tea anyway uh, they then close by saying happy gaming and keep sending us through your feedback So that's it a Whole bunch of tips and tricks from the developers themselves plus a little updates um, Hold on. Oh, no, it's in a different post But they are currently hard at work on a new on the first patch So if you've got the game, let me know if you've noticed these changes If you haven't got the game, let me know if you're going to buy the game let me know in the comment section down below, but yeah, as always, for more Rugby Challenge 4 content, be sure to run it straight at this like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you, 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 you. later.